Hey, hi there YouTube, welcome to my tutorial about Excel. This video is going to be quite a basic video, it's going to cover the introductions into mainly using the formula feature for Excel. So, the formula feature is used for a wide variety of purposes, but mainly for use of a calculation. Uh, sorry about that. It is very useful when, when uh, for especially for businesses, if they're calculating things, but as very as many purposes can be useful. Uh, so, to begin with, you're going to have to type in the equal sign there. This is used for all formulas and sums you're going to be using. Uh, so, essentially, you can use your basic math skills. So, say to equals 1 plus 1, it's going to equal 2. However, say this 1, we could replace with a cell. So if we highlight this and specify cell C6, we could change this and sorry that. we can do this by just clicking or manually typing in. So essentially what it does is it takes a value for cell C4, which is currently 0, and adding 1 to it. So if we make this value 4, this will change to 5. Sorry about that. So 5 plus 1 is 6. 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. Then we can do all sorts of things. We can do multiplication. We do multiplication by the asterisk sign here. We plus shift and then 8 on uh, English keyboards. I'm not sure what it is for American keyboards. Anyway, we can specify this for a cell. So 8 times 0 is going to be 0. 8 times 1 is going to be 8. 8 times 4 is 32. So it's simply using maths. This is my basic thing, using maths to specify values of a cell. So you need to remember that you use the equal sign. You can also press this FX button. Now this will do something for you. So you can select something from, from here. So say the average. We could say the average of two cells. So you press OK. And it will ask us for a number. So say the number 4. The second number, 2. And it will give us our predefined value here, which is 3. Like before, when we change the numbers, and specified cells instead. We can click here and say D4 or C4 and it'll grab the values here. So essentially it's saying equals average and then with average function you have brackets and then you specify numbers. However these numbers can be specified as cells instead. Let's try something else. Uh, perhaps we want the total of something. You can type in sum. And you can see it will give you the give you some more advanced sums. And if we do the brackets like before, it will ask us for some numbers. If we want to select multiple cells, we just highlight and drag. So C4 to D4. The numbers are 8, 4. So Excel will be listing these numbers 8, 4, and then finding a sum. So you can use FX function to find all sorts of things. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of different uh, functions you can use to, to work out. Uh, some, some are very easy, which you can which can easily do yourself, but some but some require a bit more of a knowledge because uh, there are so many sort of variables which you can add to them. Because in here, there's just one variable, which is the numbers which you choose. But some might have a comma where you have to choose extra numbers. Uh, but all that all varies on the on the thing. 
so they're all here so essentially I'd um, so like we've got the square root here so square root of say 25 is going to be 5 and then you can use the mathematical functions which you use at the start to add these functions together so the total of that the sum of these two numbers plus the square root of 5 so that's going to be 17 uh, so I'd recommend before watch my further videos into just playing with these functions try not to get too confused but try some basic functions which you can use to uh, sort of almost teach yourself uh, so I hope this video helped you but please subscribe to my channel and uh, leave some feedback on my videos uh, thank you for watching and goodbye